Hello, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I must share this comment with you because I know a lot of you are like me and don't go and read every comment under every video. Some people do, and and you can get some good stuff out of you know you learn more. Uh, they put links to videos and other things, but I know most of us don't have time. But this is something I've been, I have spoken to you about a couple or three times about how the two, the doctor and research doctor, were brought over. The one was from one of the Holocaust camps, and one was from Japan. Or they he was researching how to best torture our soldiers or something. A real smart guy. But instead of hanging them as war criminals, they brought them over and paired them up at Fort Detrick. And together they invented the mycoplasma fermentans. The Japanese guy got to patent it. Imagine. All right, well, this sister, let me get a tissue here, <coughs> excuse me. This sister of ours uh, has stayed in contact with me and has not ever told me this much about it. I knew she had gotten multiple vaccinations in the service and was sick for 30 years since then, and they call it, Gulf War illness if you can get a doctor to diagnose you with it. It's just like ME-CFS, what I have. Symptoms, very similar. In fact, probably worse. But I'm going to read this to you in case you know somebody that has this. If it does nothing else, it'll validate them if they still are being told there's nothing wrong with them. Okay? Because nothing's worse than going to the ER feeling like you're dying. You can't stand up without falling down. You're throwing up. I never did that. Thank you, Jesus. He never let it affect my gut. And I tell you what, that I, I am so grateful for that. Okay, let me read this to you. She goes on by Ears to Hear here on YouTube. Under my video titled, Very Interesting Information You May Want to Know. And the whole title is not here, so I'm not clicking on it or I might m miss this. And I apologize for, I hope nobody is clicking on these women. And then there was men yesterday. Oh, my goodness. I report them. As soon as I see them, I report them to YouTube as pornographic material. So, um, maybe I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to go back to putting, what do you put it, comments that must be reviewed. It's a real hassle, and anybody with a link, it goes there. And sometimes I forget to go there. So, but I, I don't want anybody's youngin', uh, as we say it down here in the South, clicking on those filthy people's unsaved people's sites. We were all unfilthy, weren't we? And none of us are all totally 100% there yet. All right, let me get started. Um, I, I'm going to switch glasses. Because the writing on these comments is really little. All right. And I go to the eye doctor tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Thank you to you know who offering to help me pay for the glasses. Anyway, see my my left eye still cannot see. But I don't want to have cataract surgery 
with all that's going on. I don't know. It, I guess it's no big deal, but all right. <laughs> I can see better if I do that, but I won't. She said, Jeannie, I found out about, she calls it MFI. That stands for Microplasma Fermentans Incognitus. I think is what she ends up spelling it out. Incognito or incognitus, which means it remains hidden. Years ago, it is what they put in vaccines. See, they might have started, evidently from what she learned, putting it in vaccines. But when they first came out with it, they were putting it in light bulbs and throwing them in subway stations and acting like crazy people, just throwing light bulbs down, you know, where the train runs over them. And, the, you know, I'm sure they didn't see a plume, but it was a plume of this bacteria coming up and out and affecting infecting people and they probably put them in mosquitoes and I don't remember the whole article anyway it hides it hides it hides and this is why you can exhibit symptoms of something specific go get tested and nothing shows up Everything appears normal. I know because this is what they put in my body that fateful day, August 5th, 1990. I got sick on April 4th, 1990 from the hepatitis B vaccinations. Oh my goodness. It was in the vaccine. <sighs> Just before the Gulf War broke out, serving in the Air Force Reserve was on duty when they did this to me but I didn't know anything then and not for many years until 2013 did this all finally come into focus I spoke with a certain research scientist at a certain university in Mississippi will remain nameless due to the unbelievable harassment and threats this individual was under yeah, I can only imagine. For 23 years, I suffered with unimaginable crazy problems. Many took me to the ER countless times, but they never found anything wrong, ever. Me too, sister. One ER doctor told me, we can't find anything wrong, but I know there's something wrong with you. You need to get yourself to... Where did he tell Mayo? He said, you need to get yourself to the Mayo Clinic, if at all possible. That's like up in Minnesota. You know, I couldn't do that. But he knew, he knew that what he saw was not a pseudo-seizure. He knew. And that's what they kept calling him. Okay. Because the EEG was negative. Isn't that weird? They were muscle spasms of a very strange kind. Okay, that's what I had. One of the things I had. Anyway, they never found anything wrong ever. So I'll share with you the basic rundown of what I know. They put squalene adjuvant in the vaccines to super boost the immune response but what it does is it wrecks it, causing it to react to things that are part of your body that it should not recognize as a threat.
squalene is a naturally occurring lipid fat found in olives and olive oil and is only meant to be ingested, not put into your bloodstream. Your blood is 75% water. Squalene is a fat slash oil. We all know oil and water won't mix. I had an immediate reaction for which I was in pain and agony unlike anything, searing pain in my chest and gut, and I was in the base hospital for over four hours. I have no memory of it being that long, but it was. About two weeks later, all sorts of very strange conditions illnesses, whatever you want to call them, came over me. Intense, painful, agonizing headaches, fatigue, vertigo. I couldn't breathe without pain, couldn't walk, could not get up, feverish, no appetite, etc. This went on for five months, thereabouts, before I finally came out of it at 92 pounds. Lost a lot of weight. It wrecked my marriage, and my life has never been the same. One strange medical thing after the other over the following years for which I was told it was all in my head. So, in 2012, reading a VFW magazine, it profiled Gulf War Syndrome and the main symptoms, and they were all what I experienced. This began a search for answers and resources came my way. Now, I back up some to 2008. Since I wasn't getting answers with allopathic doctors, I went to a naturopath who administered a certain diagnostic procedure called biofeedback body scan. That revealed lots of things, but the two that shouted out to me were these. Biological warfare variations of yellow fever, and typhoid. You go serve your country in the reserves. And this is what they do to you. This makes me want to cry. See, I, did, I got a hepatitis B vaccination, and it might not have contained everything they were given. In 1984, while serving active duty in the Air Force, I received a yellow fever shot that caused illness in me, and subsequently other things followed, but I did not connect any dots then. But the big one was 1990. But the big one was the 1990 typhoid shot that I described above. The base I served at was just down the road from Fort Detrick, the devil's playground of evil. So in a certain book, which highlighted the squalene problem. It answered lots of questions for me about certain things which I was experiencing. But it also raised other questions. Also, by the way, my now husband, 
who I met later, served in the same unit. His actual lot numbers for these evil vaccines were documented in this book. He suffers with the exact same autoimmune diseases I have. So while the squalene was responsible for many of my problems, the one thing that I could not figure out was why did patients or military members who received these various vaccines then manifest different autoimmune conditions because the other culprit is MFI, Mycoplasma fermentans incognitus, which is the Latin word for hidden. I also got in contact with another research doctor who wrote a book about this too. MFI targets the weakest parts of a human body that can be different for different people, depending on their genetic makeup, lifestyles, eating habits, etc. Just look at the name. It hides deep within the cells and does so in such a way as to be not only undetectable, but assimilates into the body so that no response is triggered for the body to recognize it as foreign. For years after my event, I continued to have a slightly elevated white blood cell count, which my doctor dismissed every time. Clearly, something triggered that, but again, no antibodies, as far as I know, ever showed up. For 30 years now, I've been plagued with neurological anomalies, sinus infections, systemic candida, systemic inflammation, etc. My body Oh my gosh, it disappeared right in front of me. <gasps> See if I can find it. Oh. Okay, what video was that under? Was it this one? Got the CDC? Another filth. Why did it just disappear right in front of me? I can't remember what video it was under. I think it was this one. Yeah. It was this one. Killing mycoplasma. Yeah. Here it is. Let me see if I can find where I was. 
All right, let's see, she talked about that. And her current husband has the same illness. So while, let's see, so while the squalene was responsible for many of my problems, the one thing that I could not figure out was why did patients, okay, we, I read that. This is the culprit is mycoplasma from tans. Uh, I also got in contact with another research doctor who wrote a book about this. Okay. It's different in different people because of your makeup. It targets the weakest part of the body. And that can be different for different people depending on their genetic makeup, lifestyle, eating habits, etc. Yeah, like having to eat cereal every day of your life. Growing up. And hardly ever meet. That may may have something to do with it. I don't know. You know your nutrition. Just look at the name. It hides deep within the cells. Um. Okay, I went got through that. Her problems. Okay, she said this has been going on for thirty years now, and m me too. Same year. Hi, Jasper. What's the matter? Why are you hiding? You're so cute. Yes, you are. I'm sorry. I will listen to all this all the way through later today. Hopefully, I'm out of time right now. But know this. You are spot on with the MFI. Spot on. And they will put this in the COVID vaxes to be sure they will. It will either kill you or debilitate so badly. That is their MO to kill or maim to disable the population. People need to get, she put spooled up on this now. I'm not sure what she means by that, but I can only guess it means get educated about it. Spread this far and wide. If if you just by mouth, whatever, don't take the vaccine and just tell what part of this you can remember. Oh my goodness. It, this just is so sickening to know there's over a million people that are supposedly have ME or CFS, depending on your doctor and your area you're in, and other parts of the world usually mostly call it ME, except for the UK now. They're the ones that got into cahoots with us to make this a, a mental issue way back. Gosh, 70s, before I ever got my um, injections, I, I can't remember. I read the book on the history of chronic fatigue syndrome in the United States. It was a 10-year history from like 84 to 94 by Hillary Johnson. I don't know why I can remember her name, but I sure can. Anyway, I'm going to go with that, and I hope this helps somebody. Like I said, if to do nothing else but validate your illness, because, you know, you might say, we only need to be validated by our Lord. We know who we are in Christ. But it really does help knowing you're not crazy. It's not a demonic attack. You've got something real going on. It's just a shame from where it came. Talk to you later, brothers and sisters. Have a good night.